Hey there, Trisha Turner here. It is January 2nd, 2024. I want to get a happy new year market report out. So if you've been paying attention to the real estate market for the last six months, last year, you'll know that 2023 was like a roller coaster ride with interest rates. They were up, they were down, they were unpredictable. No one really knew where they were headed. And everyone was like just gridlocked. Buyers didn't want to buy. Sellers didn't want to sell. But if you were paying really close attention to the market, you saw interest rates starting to tick down right before Thanksgiving. There were a lot of people that predicted we would see interest rates going to the double digits. There were tons of people that predicted we were not going to see interest rates drop. I studied the market like crazy and remained steadfast in predicting that rates would be down. I said they'd be down by Thanksgiving. I was happy to see them come down prior to Thanksgiving. And they've continued to dip down even through the holidays. So now today's January 2nd, 2024, new year, new market is on the horizon. You can see interest rates right now anywhere from 59 6.2, 6%. Those are FHAs. They are ARMS. They are 30-year uh, fixed mortgages. They are all over the map. But the moral of the story is rates are down significantly from where they were just 60 days ago. If you think about the last quarter of 2023, we saw rates all the way at 8%. We saw rates at 7.5%. We saw rates at 7 We saw rates at 65 most of the time they hover between seven and seven and a half. So when you're thinking about number one, purchasing a home, if you're thinking about an interest rate from a 7% to a 6%, you're talking about a significant, a significant decrease in your monthly payment. You're also talking about being able to qualify for more when you look at like what your affordability is. If you look at people that bought a home in early 2023, or even later 2022 and paying a higher interest rate. If you're thinking about refinancing, the moral um, of the story there is if you can save 1% difference on your points, whether it's a 7.5% interest rate dropping down to a 6.2, that would be a smart reason to refi. Can you drop from a 7 to a 6%? That would be a smart reason to do a refi. I believe you're going to see interest rates come down even further what is that going to mean for the housing market? It's going to mean, number one, when you have interest rates getting down below 6%, which they are now, you're going to see buyers who couldn't qualify for a home at 75 or 8%. You're also going to see buyers that were unwilling to pay 75 or 8%. You're going to see them now move into the market. Now they're going to make moves. Now they're going to buy a home. Now they're going to find something. You're going to see sellers, especially as we get into the fives, if they go into the fives, which they will, you're going to see sellers say, well, you know what? I've hated my house for the last three years, but I felt stuck in it because interest rates were higher than normal. I'm going to go ahead and sell this house now the next time interest rates dip down. So if you are a homeowner and you don't want to miss this next round of opportunity, you better get your home ready for the market now because we are going to see a huge demand in buyers. We've already seen an uptick in activity like crazy. In our database alone, we have over 85,000 buyers and sellers waiting to make a move, which is a lot. So you're going to see buyer activity increase significantly, meaning they'll be willing, likely, to get into bidding wars, willing, likely, to pay more than list price for homes. Does that mean you should overprice your home? No. That means you still need to get to with a market expert, us, let us tell you exactly what your home is worth and let us show you a pricing strategy that is going to be good. Get your home sold, get you the most amount of money possible to your pocket. If you're a buyer, you should be out looking at homes like now, because as more buyers come into the marketplace with fewer homes on the market, you as a buyer will end up having to pay more. You will end up in bidding wars. You will end up maybe not getting the home that you want. So if you're if your choice is to get out there now and find the home that you want without getting into bidding wars or as many bidding wars, you might want to start shopping now. Moral of the story, 2024 is going to be an amazing year. You're going to see an awesome real estate year. 
2023 was a hard year for many people in the real estate industry and for many people overall. 2024 is going to be awesome. So as this market continues to improve, make sure and stay tuned to our all of our social media sites. I'm Trisha Turner. We are the Trisha Turner Group. We are with Real Brokerage and we're here to bring you expert advice every week to make sure you're up to date on the market. Have a great day.